Hey everybody, this is Alex Merced with more SQL. And again, if you've been enjoying these intro to SQL videos, please do like the video, subscribe, leave a comment, and follow me on LinkedIn and Twitter for more. But what I wanna talk about today is a concept called a common table expression. So the idea here is this. Your particular task may require multiple steps. Now you could probably do it all in maybe one query, but the amount of logic and how that query would look like would be really complicated, really hard to think through. But you know that if I could express like step one, then step two will be much easier. Okay. So the idea is you, you would then basically wrap step one as its own query. And then you give the results a name that you can then use in the next step, which would be another query. And you could theoretically just continue this process till you get to your final step. That's what a common table expression allows you to do. It allows you to basically create a table name that's really attached to a, a an expression for the purposes of that query. Okay, doesn't that table doesn't exist going forward. It's not a, a view or a materialized view. It's just a temporary version of a table that exists while that query is still being executed. Okay, so in this example, we create an employees table where we have every employee has an ID. Uh, every employee has a name and every employee has the ID of the whoever is their manager. Okay, so this is a good example of when you might have wanted to do a self join, which is where this is going. We're going to add some employees. So we're going to see that, you know, Alice reports to nobody. So she's must be the CEO. Um, Bob is going to report to Alice. Charlie reports to Alice. David reports to Bob and Eva reports to Charlie. So we get a picture of who reports to who. Okay, now in this case, I may want to like join this data. So here's a very simple example. Okay, um, and what we're doing here is notice how this with keyword here. So basically you're saying, hey, with direct reports, direct reports is sort of the temporary table name. And you're saying, hey, we're going to do something, but I want direct reports to equal the result of this query. Okay, so with direct reports as, so then this query is going to run and whatever the result of this query is becomes direct reports for the next query that comes up. So this all really is one query that's being executed, but the idea is that you can now use this uh, here. So let's see what it does. Okay, so what we're doing is we're joining employees with itself. So we're literally doing a self join using the join keywords. Um, unlike the where example, the where clause example we did in an earlier video. So in this case, we're just joining the table with itself. So there's employees one and employees two, and we're just joining it wherever the manager ID equals the employee's ID. Okay, so that way basically you end up creating a table where each person is matched up with their manager. So that becomes direct reports. And then I could, you know, theoretically continue querying that, but here all we do is we just then run a query on that table. So I'm saying, hey, just give me all the direct reports. And then we create the, de the the direct reports with a common table expression. Again, this is a very simple example. You can imagine where, you know, a bigger example where, you know, you have a much more comp, let's say you have a bunch of columns in a table that would be used to calculate someone's commission, but you, th there's that a commission field because, um, you know, maybe a, the, the product, uh, whatever the commission rate was for that particular sale, whatnot. So then you can calculate the commission. So then you would use a CTE to generate the name of the agent with their commission for that transaction and maybe the transaction ID. And then you can then go start doing, uh, you know, in a, in a secondary query, you might be able to do, you know, your aggregates and like add them all together and then group them by like, uh, you know, region or something like that. So this is, a, again, a very simple example. We're just, again, figuring out who the reports are. And if we run this, we'll see what happens. Okay, we see that we, we see that each person is matched up with who they report to. So again, that's a very simple example of, of, of a common table expression. This is the syntax for that. So you're just basically saying, hey, the, this query going forward has this name, and then you can use that name essentially in another query that happens directly afterwards. Um, here's another example, kind of more like the one I was just kind of describing where we then use the first part to help us do an aggregate. Okay, so let's open this one up. So in this case, we have report count. So the idea is like the number of people reporting. So basically here we say, okay, hey, with, so this report counts equals this query right here. And what we're doing, doing here is we wanna get the manager ID and the count of the number of reports 
that, that, that are grouped by that manager ID. So basically how many accounts per ID, okay? Um, where manager ID is not null. So basically Alice, who doesn't have a manager report, would not be counted in this count, okay? So basically here, this is just gonna generate a saying, hey, you know, ID one has this many employees reporting to it, this number two. But the problem is we don't wanna know how many people one report to one, we wanna know how many people report to Alice. So this is gonna generate the initial aggregation count and then we're going to take that and then do a join to basically replace those numbers with the actual name of the manager. Okay, so basically we're going to get the name of the manager and then we're going to take the number of counts that this query generates. And then again, we do that by joining employees again with the result of the count. So basically we're joining it with this table here that was generated through that common table expression. Okay, and then I was able to generate like Okay, let's just stop that, clear that out, run it so you can see it. So you can see that Alice here is um, got two counts, Bob one count, Charlie one count. And just to kind of see what effect that had, if I were to comment this part out, and instead here put select star from report counts. Okay. You'll see the result of this is just the ID of the manager and how many people report to them. But again, I don't know who one, two, three is off the top of my head. So that second join, that second step after we create the common table expression and is again, breaking it up into two pieces like this just makes it easier to think through instead of, you could probably just do this as one big select query, but it would probably be much more difficult to think through than doing it as, hey, let me just first get the counts and then let me go get the manager names. And it makes it much easier to sort of break down problems into multiple steps in your SQL. Okay, so, and then sometime, and sometimes there will be certain things that maybe only by doing a common table expression um, could you actually have access to the data to do that second step. So it just depends on the situation. But again, it's a tool that's at your disposal. Again, you'll find this code in the cte.sql uh, file. So again, if you click on the link to this repo, which should be in the video description, you can find that right there. But hope you guys enjoyed that. My name is Alex Merced. Subscribe, like, follow on LinkedIn. I'll see y'all later.